Pathmark is the intelligent tool for website lead generation. With increasing online competition, over 98% of website visitors don't convert. The ability to successfully show your value proposition and support visitors in their buying journey separates you from the competition online. Pathmark qualifies and converts leads on your website by figuring out where they are in the buying journey and influencing them in key decision moments with relevant micro experiences like case studies, intro videos, and much more. Stay relevant to your visitors and increase conversions by 50%. Add Pathlight to your website in seconds. Let the AI do all the work and get access to 50% more qualified leads while you keep doing marketing and sales as usual. Check us on pathmonk.com. Welcome to today's episode. Let's talk about today's guest. We have Ruben Alincanya from PAS, founder with them. How are you doing today, Ruben? Hey, I'm doing great. And thank you for the production. Thank you for your show. Now, it's, it's great to have you on. And we'll, so I'm sure our listeners are, are tuning in, wondering what PAS is all about. And we'll just to let them know it's professional Amazon services. But Ruben, in your own words, tell us a little bit more. Yes, you certainly install. It is PAS Professional Amazon Services. So our company is providing business management and marketing solutions for online brands and also brands that like to branch into online sales, primarily focused into e-marketplaces such as Amazon. But we've also been branching out into Walmart and other marketplaces that uh, require similar services. Okay, perfect. Awesome. And so that way, then our listeners then could get a good understanding there of your company, Ruben. What would you say then is that key problem that you guys like to suffer for clients? Of course, it's a great question because there are so many, right? Uh, when it comes to launching a brand on Amazon or in some other cases, scaling a brand on Amazon, this is not a one thing or one solution that will get you there. And also, it's not one solution that fit for all. So the services, we operate as more of an in remote e-commerce department. And that's going to be my profession for many, many years which is imagine an e-commerce department in your team. If you don't have it, that's a department that will uh, be on the top of various problems, including marketing for, uh, as I mentioned, PPC. Everybody know what is it? Uh, it's a pay-per-click advertising for Amazon services. Uh, as for as one, catalog management, uh, companies that we do work with in a distribution level, a wholesale level, companies that usually do B2B and then transfer their business into B2C. It will mean deal with that thousands of SKUs and then their catalog and merchandising services. Uh, SEO and list optimization. That's another big thing that we do for our partners, optimizing their pages to make sure that they get into algorithmic reading of Amazon. For those who are kind of a, a very a fresh off on Amazon, Amazon itself is a giant algorithm that produces sales. So making sure that your listing is fully optimized for the SEO purposes. It's another service, great service we provide. Uh, to complement all of that, we also have an in-house graphic design team that supports to optimize the listing pages, the A-plus content, A-plus premium. Those are the creative portions of the Amazon detail page that mostly responsible for the uh, conversion. So in an in, 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 in in extended way, that's the answer. In a short way, we do provide every service that will be required for the brand to launch and thrive on the Amazon or uh, Walmart marketplaces. All right, great, great, great to hear that from you there. And I mean, I mean, you, you already mentioned, right? So, I mean, you, you guys' ideal clients is someone that that's Amazon, but is there uh, uh, an ideal ICP that you guys like to focus with with a certain clientele? Oh well, we, we are uh, at this moment we work with wide variety of uh, uh, categories uh, that we would take, but we've seen a huge success with operating brands into the toy and gaming category as one of our top categories at the moment. But there are, although there differ in terms of a marketing strategies and then uh, tactics that you will employ to successfully scale a brand on Amazon, there are many basic action that will require to get you set up there. So in, in, a, in, a, in a nutshell, we do have very strong category, which will be focused into the toy and gaming category. Uh, the secondary probably go to the kitchen. But other than that, we have brands in the beauty, we have in the uh, supplement space and clothing and accessories. So yeah, we're, we're full front. Okay. Great. Great to hear that. Um, and, well, so how then would somebody usually find out then about PAS? Is there a top client acquisition channel for you, Ruben? Yes. Well, uh, our primary acquisition and the growth engine for uh, last couple of years been the uh, word to mouth. Uh, we've been very lucky enough to provide service that, that to us getting recommended for more. 
and more uh, customers in the various fields, and that's how we obtain a business. So that would have been the uh, kind of an initial way how people would find out about us. On the top of that, I've been very active since 2021 on LinkedIn uh, and providing uh, tips and uh, various uh, talking about the e-commerce and space in general. I've been in an e-commerce space for over 10 years, so uh, for a very long time, I didn't know the knowledge that I had would be uh, useful for others. I thought this is something that is very uh, common that everyone knew, but with that recognition, I started posting more and more knowledge about how to, uh, let's say, optimize your listing, how to get more sales, how to properly launch, and that was a catalyst also uh, to to drive more attention. Uh, we've also, uh, as a matter of fact, with 2024 being in our first year, we've started a uh, very strong outbound uh, lead generation uh, within form of uh, various advertising, we use of various advertising platforms. I do also like to be an out there uh, and in person, uh, meaning in virus expose shows. As a matter of fact, in next uh, month in June uh, six to nine, I'm going to be uh, six to eight. I'm going to be in Istanbul, Turkey, where I'll be as a speaker uh, on the, uh, the U.S. e-commerce uh, space in general, and also have a short master class. So, in utilizing various aspects and kind of a changing a little bit of strategies as for 2024. Very interesting to hear that from me. And so that way, our listeners who are tuned in can go ahead and visit you. They could always check you out at pasagency.com. Ruben, what role then does the website play for client acquisition? I think the biggest role there is to know who we are and what we do, right? Because there is a lot of identical services. This is, and you know, one of the biggest differences that comes in our space. Some of the companies do advertising and marketing only. Some of them do uh creative design portion uh and, and although there are full service agencies of course we're not us i think the biggest thing is to teach and, and show our audience of uh, the services we provide how comprehensive uh, we are we want to understand we want our uh, partners or future partners at least understand who we are and what we can do what the benefit is uh for these companies partnering with us as much as possible from a page one we also carry some educational value there uh and which is growing with the time uh, which will, you know, be informative in terms of what each service we provide uh, and how important it is uh, from what the copywriting and SEO does uh, to your listing, what the creative design does to your listing. So we want to educate them to understand why as a, a brand, as an organization, I need to have an SEO services or why do I need to update my creative? We want to make sure that our partners and future prospect and leads understand that as well. Definitely. Okay, great, great to hear that. So on that note then, Ruben, is there any tools or tips or methods that you would recommend to our listeners as far as some website lead generation? Uh, well, website lead generation. Uh, frankly, uh, our website, lead, the way we do lead generation, I want to think I've heard, I haven't used it personally yet, which I'm going to do. That's why I'm going to be fully confident to suggest it. it will be uh, in terms of a lead magnet. If for those who didn't hear, learn that, Term, it is an useful information that you'll provide to potential audiences in the form of a download where they will leave their uh, information uh, via thus creating a, a lead for you. So the idea is if you are providing a solution or a part of solution uh, to a full solution that you provide, and there is a uh, prospect on the other side that is interested to learn about it, they are most likely have that kind of a problem. And, as a service provider, our goal is to fix the problems and being able to be a full support. So uh, one of that, uh, I, I think it's a great way to uh, do lead general. And you can create a lead magnet in form of information, in form of solution, and have it distributed within your social media platforms and even pay for that one. Yeah, so, okay, great, great, great. Thank you so much for sharing the, that knowledge with us, Ruben. And well, let's switch gears a little bit, Ruben, and let's talk about you as the leader. You being the founder there for PAS, what are some key tasks you're focusing on your day-to-day -day work? Well, uh, you know, the first thing that I will say that it's very important to understand that each roles and responsibilities. Uh, as a leader, my roles and responsibilities are, you know, it's, it's used to uh, say in, in a business world when I'm wearing many hats have changed. Uh, so being a lot of an on hand when it comes to dealing with the account, fixing problems of myself and moving to nowadays, which is very limited into working on the organization, primarily focused into having, uh, growing the sales portion of it. 
app. I still do deal with a lot of top tier clients. There's some of the clients that we maintain from a day one. We started over three years. So that's kind of a very cherished those relationship. So I make sure that I'm fully knowledgeable. So as far as my daily activities, it can go to making sure that the operational, everything is on place, making sure to do, I, I, what I like to do in the end of every day is to make sure I've done at least one thing that will work towards creating a sales for organization. Because if we look into accountability charge and responsibility charge within our organization, my role as a CEO is uh, having the top line is to grow the sales at the moment. So heads have changed. And now that what I do, and the most of my days go into finding good ways how to get sales aside from a, a daily minor task, such as, you know, like I said, I, I get pretty much all the emails related to the clients, related to our partners and what happens on their accounts. And I can be very much hands-on and, uh, you know, fixing things with them. Definitely. And you mentioned right now, right? You're, you're, you're always looking to, to find the new, the new way of, of sales. So is, is there a preferred channel that you like to stay up with, uh, up to date with, with some news? strategies, trends in the marketing world? Uh, yes, I think the LinkedIn is my kind of a go-to for that subject. I do get a lot of, you know, there are a lot of good experts in, uh, in the field at the put valuable information uh, and kind of hearing from others uh, and then having your own thoughts around the, the subject. I think it's very, very important because like uh, there are certain news or certain actions can be viewed certain ways by some people and you have kind of your own thoughts about that. And also, I'm signed up into various, and you know, I, I, I think if I slide it, when I won't remember what other kind of a news blogs and newsletters I signed up for to get kind of a, my uh, uh, and, and daily news or updates. But I, I think uh, the LinkedIn is primarily uh, focused for me when it comes to that subject. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for sharing that. And we'll, well, let's jump into our next section then here, which is our rapid fire question rounds. Are you ready for them? Yeah. Awesome. First off, then, Ruben, is what is the last book that you read? Oh, the last book that I've read was on a Simon a Salek, I think. Salek. It's about the marketing. Kid. He's a very famous marketer. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot the name. But uh, yeah, I think Simon Salek. That's what the name is. Yeah, okay, interesting. We differ for our listeners to, to uh, look that up for, for us. Um, do you, do you, quick, I do love to uh, listen to the books more than uh, uh, read. Well, it actually starts with why. Here you go. I remember. So it's a, it's it's the Simon Sinek. It starts with why. But that's the last one I've read. Perfect. Start with why there from Simon. And and you're right. So you're more into an audio book than, than to get get the book. Right. Awesome. Uh, love those. This one. Yep. Uh, next up then, Ruben, is what is one single thing that your company is focused on at the moment the most? I think the most right now we're focused on are improving our SLPs. Uh, probably more than trying to grow the sales because if we grow the sales without a proper SLPs, it is very much bound to crumble. And I've seen that firsthand a lot and you can read about it a lot. So we did have an SLPs that were feeding and it was right for the A stage that our company was a year ago, but it's definitely not up to standards today and what we do. So right now, working closely with our director of operations to make sure that our SOPs are updated and they're actually properly uh, uh, serving the structure and what that we want to build. So that's, I think, the biggest thing we all. Well, okay, very great. Thank you so much for sharing that, Ruben. Um, and so if there would be no boundaries in technology, what would be that one thing that you want to have fixed for your role as a marketer today? Oh, Interesting. So I, I guess kind of an eliminating middle funnel and being able to get directly to the customers uh, and on the service, it's a little bit difficult because it's not a, a right you know, a product and something that the customers will be able to kind of a buy it and, and purchase. But being able to come up with something that will create that fact of the customers being able to buy the uh, service in one click, uh, I think. Uh, at least in our space, I'm sure there's something like that similar in other spaces. But uh, for our space, I think that will be the one. Okay, great, great. Uh, and so that is there one repetitive task that you could automate, Ruben? What would that be? What uh, would I automate that I do not have automated yet? Hmm. I think some of the... Uh, 
Well, that I guess if you go back into the technology as well, because I don't think that technology like that exists yet, but, or maybe I'm not that advanced because, you know, um, I'm not that technology advanced anymore. But <laughs> I, I think the, uh, we do have uh, something that calls weekly updates, which is updating the, uh, our partners with the weekly activity that we're going to go. This is something that the team does it manually. Uh, they have to put it. So if there would be something to automate, I think that will be the one, yes. Definitely. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much uh, for sharing that. And well, lastly, I mean, you have more than, uh, already the experience, right? With more than 10 plus years in the marketing world. Uh, what is that one, one piece of advice that you would give yourself if you were to restart your journey as a marketer today? To be more confident on myself. I think that will be the biggest one. Doubting myself more than I had to. Uh, so I, I think that will be the biggest one. Uh, and for future ones, uh, and whoever wants to embark the journey and start it, uh, doubt yourself less and be more confident into that uh, the most important thing is to do the steps and kind of push forward. Rest will unfold itself. I think, you know, that's what I did, uh, you know, delayed significantly because I was not confident in myself and I was doubting myself into my capabilities, what I knew and what I could do. William Barn, okay, awesome. Thank you so much, Ruben. Uh, well, Ruben, we are, are coming to the end of our show today, but before we do end, I do want to give you the last word. Say someone forgets everything about the interview today. What is that one thing they should remember about PAS? Well, that we are a full service uh, marketing and business management, and our name stands for Professional Amazon Services. So if you don't forget, just look for Professional Amazon Services, and we'll be uh, out there. We are a remote e-commerce department. And we provide all comprehensive. There, well, there you guys heard it. Check them out at pasagency.com, your detached e-commerce department. Ruben, thank you so much for being on with us today. To our listeners, thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm looking forward to our next episode at Pathmonk Presents. Thanks a lot, Ruben. Take care. Thank you very much.